Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, team pilot with Precision Aerobatics. And today we're gonna to discuss two very little understood parts of your radio, uh, some programming, it's called differential. And the other one is balance. Um, and basically differential is very simple. Um, as you're trying to, for instance, you're trying to roll the airplane and you hold full aileron. Well, in general, because the geometry of the servos, um, the geometry of the linkages, no matter how hard everybody tries, it's almost impossible to get them perfect. So what happens is when you deflect one to get 20 degrees, the other one might be at 19 and a half. Um, also, flying uh, forward, you get more prop wash off the lower uh, part of the aileron than the top. So sometimes they have to be set a half a degree different. So one way to accomplish this, to make sure the plane rolls in an axial fashion, is to apply some differential. So if the right aileron is deflecting a little more than the left, we apply differential to level them off. So that means that at full 45 to one side, full 45 to another, or maybe the downside to 45 and a half or 46, and uh, that will make the plane roll axially. So you have the control of differential uh, to be able to make your plane roll exactly uh, in an axial fashion. Of course, it's very windy here today in the afternoon, but what we're gonna do to check for differential, we're gonna fly straight up, we're gonna come down kind of over ourselves, we're gonna go straight down and then roll. And then you watch the tendencies of the airplane. If it starts to want to pull a little to the right, pull a little to the left, you don't even have to know which side uh, to do the differential. Uh, just start making adjustments. And if it's uh, going too much in one direction, do the other. Technically, if it pulls left, you need to add differential in that direction. So there's full aileron. And you can see it wanting to uh, stay pretty straight. And one of those reasons is, you know, the PA planes tend to be very, very, very consistent. And for this particular model, um, I've already programmed the differential. It's not very much at all. Um, I think like 1%. But that's how you test it. Point it down and roll it. And you can watch the plane uh, list a little bit uh, from one side to the other. So I'm gonna bring the plane down now and I'm going to apply um, a bunch of differential in order to show the effect of the ailerons not uh, being deflected in the same amount. One way to check the differential on the ground and to set it up, which is exactly how I did this one, is I literally deflected the aileron about half and pinned it there. And then I measured both ailerons. And in one, in, in this case, it's not the servo's fault. It's not the, the, the build's fault. It's not anything. It's just the, the uh, organic things that happen within the airframe. One was deflected just a little bit more than the other. And so I used differential to adjust it. This is with no differential program. Now I'm gonna put a bunch in. You see what's happening? one aileron is deflected a lot more up than the other one is down okay that's like at 27 percent so when i try and do a nice axial roll you know what's going to happen it's going to start listing to the right so um, i would have to adjust the left differential i'm going to take it up i'm going to fly it like this and show you the result watch it with 27 percent exaggerated exponential you see it going to the uh, to the one side so the plane is pulling to, in this case, our left. So we're gonna do it again. And you can definitely see how this plane does not want to roll axially. See it pulling? And that's because of the differential. So we have one, uh, one aileron is significantly less effective uh, than the other. Um, so you start at zero, you watch its tendencies, and then you add a little bit to level it off and make sure it does not start varying from one side to the other. 
because if I'm flying, um, if I'm flying forward like this, and I just want to do a roll, already it's turning left. <coughs> with the wind pushing it in the opposite direction, as I'm rolling, watch, it'll start making a circle to the left. You see it? And that's because of the differential. Um, if there wasn't a problem that I needed differential, the plane would have stayed straight uh, on those rolls. Now I just removed the differential and it should fly very straight. See, it wants to stay straight. The concept of balance uh, is in many ways very similar. And what we would do is if you have an elevator where um, it's on two separate servos, depending on the hinging and the actual uh, push rod setup, a very slight difference will make one go up faster than the other, or one go down faster or further. You've all had the experience that one, you know, at full deflection goes down a little further than the other at the top. Well, in theory, um, as they're moving together, all of them, at every point, it's a little different. Balance will allow you to hit the same goals, like uh, at certain stick, you know, the, the ele each elevator will be at 10%, maybe one's 10, one's nine. This balance function will help you push the stick the same amount, but have it have the uh, deflection the same. And then, of course, uh, you can choose multiple points in between so that at every point, if you're pulling the elevator, the plane will go straight up. If you do not have the balance done properly, even if you set the end points the same, it won't be the same in the middle. And that's the point. So even though the end point is the same, if you pull half elevator, the plane will want to tilt in one direction or the other because you have a little more force on one side than the other and that's balance and I'll show you how it's programmed in a moment. This is actually the balance settings for my elevator on my 120 cc plane. You can see that it's uh, quite dramatic. Okay with the settings I have to make these two elevators move the same and arrive at the same so they're the same here, and they are the same at the top. It's all this area in between is where we use balance. So, um, as I showed you, the balance settings here are, are pretty dramatic, and I'm, you really only have to set one elevator or the other, um, one surface or the other. So, what I'm going to do is this particular elevator, well, anyway, I'm going to take one of the points of the left elevator uh, that is currently at zero, and I'm going to put it up high. Can you see the change that I made? Is it visible? Okay, watch the left elevator. You'll see it go way out of whack right there. So what happened is it went way high way too fast. If we look down on it now, can you go down on it or look down on it? Can you see how mismatched it is at this point? But at the end, it'll be the same. So what we're trying to do is, here, back up a little bit. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is pull the stick at the first click and then bump it up or down to match it, go to the second click, up or down to match it, third click, up or down to match it. Actually, that's a little off right now. Oh, that's because I just screwed it up. Anyway, so you can see it's starting to go off. Now it's way, way off. And of course, at the end, because I have the end point set the same, it will be the same. So that's what balance is. It's simply a way to just um, adjust uh, uh, elevators, ailerons, uh, uh, twin rudders, anything you want to be able to make them uh, match the, uh, uh, the angles to one another.